Thanks, Paul. You know I don't like to do this, but uh, I didn't write a speech or anything. I just want to thank every, each and every one of you. Fans, racers, uh, my family, my wife, Lori, Michael, Emily, Tyler, uh, some of them don't know them. Can you stand up, please? Most of you don't know, when I go home, I take all the problems out of my wife. Uh, she racing and not racing and all that, she deals with a lot. So if it wasn't for her, I, I, don't, I couldn't do this. Uh, she does all the tickets for numbers and money and order the food and order the beer. Uh, she sells beer for somebody else. I think she likes that because she doesn't have to deal with the headaches anymore. There. Um, but God bless Let me just yell. Yeah. 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 It'll keep coming in and out. But, um, I don't want to keep you guys here. Thanks for going through all this drawing and stuff. It went fast, but uh, I want to thank Bruce Ridley. He gave me a lot of stuff to give away. He was behind the NAPA sponsorship. Uh, Joe Kelly, do me a favor and stand up. Uh, Joe was behind this. That was quick. Joe was behind all these trophies this year. Um, there's a lot of other things that happened with Joe, but uh, without him, these beautiful trophies would have never happened. And I, I want to thank him a lot um, because they were unique or different. No other track has them. Hopefully, no other track will have them. Um, the sponsors: uh, Community Car Care of Waterloo, Parts Plus, White Ball Stand Up. Right. <laughs> Pizza logs, they come a long way um, for me and stuff like that. I don't, I don't, I should have wrote all this stuff down, but I was hoping I didn't have to speak. Um, Tana, can you stand up, please, too? Yeah, man, yeah, stand up. She, she was here at one o'clock helping everybody. This room was small. We got everybody in here. Truthfully. I didn't know what this banquet was going to be like Sunday because I had 61 people last Sunday. And I'm thinking, oh my God, we're not going to have anybody. And everybody came in at like the last minute. Um, so the room was kind of tight. Some places aren't the best to sit. I apologize, but we got, our, we got everybody in. We got everybody fed. Um, and hopefully next year will be the same. I know a lot of people are staring at me wondering what I'm going to say, American Racer or Hoosier, yeah. but we have not finalized everything yet. Hopefully by Wednesday, I gave it a deadline today from American Racer, Hoosier. There's just a lot of things that go behind the scenes that nobody knows, whether it's money, whether it's this, having races. I just did an interview on Doug's Nerd Diary. Some, most probably everybody listened to it, you know, because I didn't want everybody coming in and saying, oh, you didn't make an announcement and all this. There's a lot of things that determine what I do. Because you make the wrong decision, you can bankrupt Canandaigua or another racetrack. So Wednesday, we will be out by Wednesday for sure if we will be on American Race Tire or Hoosier. Um, so that's, I know everybody's waiting for that and everybody's talking to me about it. But right now, I have to do what's best for me, the racers, because I look out for you guys. If we go one way, we lose racers. We go a different way, we gain racers. You know, it's gonna cost sportsmen money if we go with steel wheels, aluminum wheels. You know, next year maybe what I'll do right now, maybe next year we'll just, if I'm on Hoosiers, maybe we'll all be on American, or yeah. We'll be on aluminum wheels, but on Hoosier tires, because other tracks do that. So that might be something that we might do. I just wanted to let you know now, even if we stay with the Hoosiers, because dirt is possibly gonna do that, they're not gonna push it, you know. I know this don't pertain to a lot of you, but there's a spot of sportsmen guys that I just want to touch base on. So that's what, it costs a lot of money, the decision that I make. Not only for me, but for you guys. I'm here for you guys. I think, hopefully you guys know that. I gave each and every one of you a business card with, and your koozies and all that. So if you ever have a question, call me up. Don't call your friend. Don't call somebody else. What's Jeremy doing? What's Jeremy doing? Call me. I'll answer the phone. Send me an email. I'll answer any phone call at any time. Except for on Sundays. I'm not going to answer the phone on Sunday. Yes, you will. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, there's probably a lot of more things I could say, but hopefully you guys will either go out, 
gamble, go to the bar, hang out. If anybody wants to ask me questions after the fact, tonight I'll be around. We'll talk if you want. Uh, I appreciate it for everyone coming. Hopefully we'll have a bigger and better season next year. You know, so thanks again for coming. And hopefully I didn't forget anybody with sponsor-wise and stuff. Um, if I did, oh, you know what? Oh, yeah. Hey, I want to sit one guy right here just open his mouth. Come here, son. Yeah. Tom Skubinski. I don't know, a lot of you guys know him, a lot of you don't, but he does all the press releases. He does a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't see because I turn a computer on, I check my email. That's about it. I can't do press releases. I don't do points. I don't do that. But Gary Spade does the points and stuff. I've had some people call me this week, last year, hey, my points are screwed up. Well, I got to call Gary to get it figured out because I don't know what one point is for the next, where you guys finish. I try to watch all the races, but I can't. But without Tom and Gary, my wife, Tana, you know, Bill DeVenzio, Bill, stand up too. I almost forgot you. He runs the safety crew. You guys see him. <laughs> things that I do that point people out. But Tom, no, he does a lot for me. Uh, he's got me some sponsorships. I really appreciate everything he does. And, and everybody that comes and gets in the pits every week and races, and hopefully next year will be safe. Knock on wood, just like it was last year. We didn't have any serious instances or anything like that. It's good. The racing was good. Um, so hopefully we'll get more car counts in every division is what I'm aiming for. And I know I'll end this in a second, but some of you guys are Liking the 305 sprints, not liking the 305 sprints, I've got a meeting tomorrow. We might bring that class in. Um, it, it's something that a lot of people want to try. We might try it. If we get five cars, we get five cars. You have to start somewhere. I mean, like, if you listen to my interview, when Harvey had Bruins at Speedway, he had five mod lights when he started his divisions. He gets 40 of the things now. So you have to start somewhere, and that's what I'm looking to do with 305. Because the micro sprints need somewhere to go, so if we do that, I think everybody knows that we're usually out of it by 10, 10, 15 at the latest, usually at Canada Angle. So I'm a timely person. Nothing's going to change. We're just going to add one class and go from there. Stu? Can we have starters on the 305 sprint? No, we're bringing it out. Man! 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 That's already been addressed, but the thing is with these, they're easy to push. Okay. And I've called other uh, promoters that run them on a weekly basis. Right. Basically, you can start them things with in, a four-wheeler. Uh, four just where you guys line up, you start, you come around white flat. So it's really no different than running a modified one lap. It's, it's, that's almost that end. The four-wheelers are going to go in the infield, they're going to sit. It's going to be a routine that we get into. So the time thing isn't going to be an issue. No, I know you are. But I just, hey, I'd rather address it right now than at any other time. You know, like phone cards. So. Once again, thanks guys, ladies, everybody for coming, I appreciate it.